Hello everyone, this is Jeff of Tau Player Mouse. Today we're going to make a parabolic mirror using mercury and a spinning turntable. Quite a few viewers have asked me in the past to make a mercury mirror. Dan Rojas of Green Power Science recently posted a video where he used gallium instead of mercury to make a spinning parabolic mirror. I believe that was the first time that had ever been done before and I'll put a link to his video at the end of this video. The idea of using mercury as a parabolic mirror by rotating it is not new. Uh, in fact, Sir Isaac Newton noted that this could be done, but at the time they didn't have any way to um, regulate the speed, they didn't have any electric motors or anything like that. There are currently several liquid mirror telescopes in existence. The biggest one in the world is located in Canada, and it's called the Large Zenith Telescope. It has a 6 meter diameter and rotates at only about 8.5 RPM. Mine measures about 10 inches or 25 centimeters and spins at about 33.3 RPM. Now I used about 10 pounds of mercury to create this, or 4.5 kilos. So you can imagine how much mercury they used in that 6 meter reflector. Now just like a magnifying glass, a parabolic mirror has a focal point. If you are outside the focal point, things will look small, and if you're at the focal point, things will be enlarged. So that's how the telescopes work. They're able to amplify light so much that it acts like a big magnifying glass. Now here I'm sh I shut off the turntable. You can see the mercury uh, wants to keep spinning and it's takes a while for it to spin down. So what happens if I disrupt the mercury as it's spinning? We'll kind of agitate here, just stick my finger in there and we'll see what happens. It takes a while for it to kind of um, regain its momentum again. And I'll put my hand there so you can kind of see how it changes focus and things become less distorted. A lot of people on YouTube will chastise me for posting videos about mercury, you know, citing things like what if a kid got a hold of it or whatever and tried to emulate these videos, but mercury is a little difficult to get a hold of and very expensive, so that kind of solves that problem. But mercury is a hazardous material and you shouldn't be sloppy with it. You should be, if you have some, you better be careful with it. I hope you'll check out Green Power Science's gallium parabolic mirror. It's, it's pretty cool. He burns leaves and other things with it. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.